Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So I've been meaning to do this video for a really, really long time. Um, I keep getting questions all the time about my marine coil, whether I still have it in, or how it's doing for me, you know, different things and just a lot of people wanting to know whether it would be suitable for them um, because you have the same sort of, I say, symptoms as me um, going into having the coil. So just for, excuse my hair, I'm actually having it all cut off tomorrow. Ooh, kind of excited to be honest, to get rid of this mane. Um, anyway, yeah, so for a little bit of like previous history of what I've had through my body before. So I had the, what's it called? The, is it called IUD? The um, implant in my arm, I think it might have been this arm, I can't remember which arm it was, years ago before I had Alistair. I had it in for exactly three years. I had it out and then I got pregnant a couple of months later with Alistair. Worked a treat. I did gain quite a bit of weight on it though and my skin was crazy hormonal. Um, yeah, but generally it, it worked. It, I had no periods for three years. I mean, it was pretty good in that respect. Um, but then I had Alistair and then I had a two year, two and a half year gap or two year gap with the kids. I didn't have anything in between. We just used condoms and that worked fine for us. I had regular periods. Um, I had Violet um, nearly six years ago and it wasn't till I had Violet, literally over the space of maybe three months after having her, I got my periods back, even though I breastfed her for like over two years, I got my periods back really quick compared to Alistair. Um, so I got my period back when she was about three-ish months old, which was really depressing. Um, and it was crazy heavy. Like I literally have spent the last five years with a really horrible, heavy, awful period every single month. It would last a full week. It was horrible. I couldn't use Tampax. Nothing would sort of hold it down sort of thing. It was just horrible and horrendous, at least for the first three days. Um, and I basically have been living with it for five years and I got used to it. It drove me insane, but I thought, you know what? It's just for one week of the month. It's not a big deal. I'm used to it sort of thing. And then I started looking into contraception, something a bit more um, long lasting. Um, also from previous history, I suffer with migraines. So I've never actually, they've, the doctor have never allowed me to have the pill. Now I've, I've come to find out that they can actually offer me a different pill, um, apparently, but I've never been told that and I only got told that I think maybe after I had the quail fitted. Um, but I tried the mini, mini peel previously, again, years and years ago. I just bled the whole way through, it was horrible. Um, but yeah, because of having migraines and possible like reaction of stroke or whatever, they just won't let me have it, which is fine. Um, I basically went down the marina coil route because my mum's got the coil and she says it's amazing. I've got loads of friends that have had children on the coil and again, they've had it removed and replaced every five years and have had no problems. So I thought I would research it and just trial it, just give it a go. And I had mine fitted in the beginning of February. So I've had it in for over seven months now, maybe getting on to eight months. So quite a long time. It's gone really fast actually. And the whole sort of side effects thing for me, the main reason why I wanted this coil, yes, for contraception, obviously we don't really want any children, not anytime soon, especially last for five years. Once it's in, it's done. And that, and that is great for me, just to know that you don't have to think about it. Um, but also because I have really heavy periods, the Marina coil has been known to stop periods throughout. And I was like, oh, that would be amazing. Um, and even some people just have a little bit of spotting, which oh, I could deal with. I could deal with even just a lighter period, I'd be happy. So anyway, uh, I had it fitted. It was really hard to fit. Um, yeah, it wasn't the nicest experience personally. 
every time I have my smear done, also it's never the nicest experience, but I think it's because of where my cervix is, it's really high and really tilted, so it's it's not quick, not as quick as it should be. Um, and I have had that ever, ever since, you know, so from having smears. So I knew it wasn't going to be as straightforward. I did bleed when she put the, the coil in. And I think that's quite normal actually to bleed a couple of days after as well. So getting on to my symptoms of having the coil. So first off, I bled for two weeks. <laughs> I, not heavy, but I bled for two weeks, and I was a bit like, oh, this is rubbish. Do I really want this? I was just, I don't know, probably the hormones going through my body made me feel even more crap. I was just like, oh God, like, this is not what I wanted. But obviously it's so new, I had to persevere, um, because these things take time, and it's all about time, isn't it? So, yeah, I, I carried on, I think maybe get, got to the third week and bleeding had stopped, which was amazing. Um, and then every month from then, pretty much, I've had bleeding, um, which is a bit disappointing, purely because, okay, maybe I had higher expectations of me not having any periods like everybody else, but... I suppose everybody's everybody's body reacts different to everything. And I think from going from having really, really heavy periods, maybe it just doesn't work for me. Um, and it's never gonna stop my periods and I don't think anything will, unless maybe I go for the implant again. Um, so yeah, generally I've gotten on really well with it. Um, I think having the hormone through my body has definitely made my moods quite harsh. Um, I have huge mood swings. You have seen me from my vlogs. Um, I am. I can be so high some days and then I can be so low, like so low to the point where I'm crying and I don't even know why I'm crying. Um, I get really emotional. I mean, I'm not saying this is every day. This could happen like once a month, twice a month sort of thing. Um, but I definitely feel like the hormone going through me has really not changed me, but it has made me feel different. Um, and I haven't had the hormone in my body for so long. So I think it's a me obviously maturing as well. I don't know. It's, it's definitely had a bit of an effect on just how I feel about myself. Um, generally the coil itself, I can't feel it in me, obviously. Um, what they do is they cut the wire so they can still reach it. Um, so you can have your six week check. And basically on the six week check, they do the whole forceps thing, not forceps, the, what is it called? I can't remember, that thing which opens the cervix. They do that again, basically, which I was hoping they wouldn't. And they cut the, the wire, it's like a fishing wire, the wire shorter. I don't really know why they do that, but they do, and it ends up coiling up on itself, apparently. Um, so I don't actually know if it's still hanging around somewhere. I haven't gone to find out or checked. Um, but generally, I can't feel the coil. Having said that, I don't know if this is a bit TMI, but since having the coil, my sex drive is definitely not as good. I don't know if it's just in my mind that I'm worried about it moving, or I don't know, but I have definitely lost the lack of my drive, and that is quite annoying, because not only am I quite moody, <laughs> I also don't really want sex as much anymore, which is not great for, obviously, our relationship. Although it's absolutely fine and our relationship is great. It's just a shame because I had a really high sex drive before and I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's just a shame, I think. It's kind of knocked me a little bit having the coil. I'm not trying to put people off. Everyone obviously reacts different to everything and... I don't know, some people, well, I need lots of people that get on with it like a dream. And I just wish that was the same for me, but 
I still have a period every month, it lasts for like a week. Okay, it's lighter than what it used to be, but it's still there. I, I get crazy mood swings. Um, yeah, I mean, there's pros and cons to every contraception, I think. Um, I am gonna continue to keep it in. I probably will potentially have it removed when it's a year, when it's a year old, purely because I don't know, I'm not 100% set on it and I think I might be able to find something better for me. But um, yeah, I mean, all in all, I haven't had the worst experience, I haven't had a bad experience. Even the nurse that was there assisting the other nurse fitting it, she said she had the coil and it just didn't suit her and she also had it removed. So it's just one of those things. Um, yeah, I am really disappointed though. You can probably tell by the tone of my voice. I am disappointed. I really wanted it to be and work the way it works for everybody. But like I said, I'm gonna keep it in for now. I'm gonna probably get it removed next year. I'm actually in no rush. I, it's not affecting my lifestyle. I just think it's affected my mood quite a bit and maybe my confidence. Um, I don't know if it's maybe just having it in me. Maybe that's it, I don't know. Um, and obviously having the hormone through my body is just different and I'm not used to it and I'm still getting used to it. it you never know, it, you know, things take time. By next year, actually, I could do another video and I could say periods have stopped because even the nurse said, because I did actually go back, I think it was at the three month mark and I went back to her and I was just like, I need to talk to you. And I just wanted to have some reassurance to know that I wasn't like having some weird adverse effects sort of thing. Like, is it normal to bleed like this? Blah, blah, blah. And she was just like, it takes time. Like everything takes time. Three months is not long enough. So I just thought, okay. Cause I was literally at the point where I was like, I've been, I've had it three months. I'm still bleeding. Um, I might just take it out. Cause literally that's how I was feeling. I don't know if it's my mood I was getting down as well, but she definitely, you know, helped. It's always good to just talk to people anyway about these sorts of things, because especially nurses, they know they've had the experience um, from like all the people, all the women that come in and have it fitted. So yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not totally against the quill. I mean, obviously it's still here, but um, yeah, just be very open-minded. Maybe I wasn't open-minded enough and I had my expect expectations quite high. Um, all I kept thinking about is, yes, I'm not gonna have no periods. That's just what everyone kept telling me. And I was like, yes. And then I'm still here with periods. Um, they're not as heavy as they were, definitely not. I can use Tampax now, which is great. I still use the Super Tampax, but you know, it's better than what it was before. So yeah, anyway, I really hope this has been informative and helped you out. Um, Oh, one thing I did want to say actually, I suppose regards to migraines, um, I'm not actually sure if the coil does stop migraines. I actually don't think I looked into that. Maybe some people have said it has. I don't know, but as you probably see, I still get migraines. I would say I've had more migraines for the last three months at least. I've had a lot of migraines. But I think that could potentially be down to stress and I've started work, I've been working since May and that could be quite stressful, just juggling life. So I'm not necessarily gonna put that down to the coil, but who knows, you know, you don't know. My skin's still rubbish as well. I don't really have great skin anymore or ever, to be honest. And I was hoping that might help my skin. Yeah, I had really high expectations, didn't I, just from a coil, but it's just one of those things. Um, but anyway, I really hope you have found this informative and if it's giving you a quick decision on what you want to do, like I said, don't get put off by it because I am one in a million people that have it fitted all the time and so many people that I know have had an amazing result from it. I am just me and I don't know, I'm just awkward, aren't I? Maybe I've just got an awkward body and just it just doesn't like hormone maybe. Um, but yeah, I hope it's helped anyway. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have one or you're thinking about it or just anything really. And um, yeah, I will see you all soon.